In this video series, we'll simulate a fluid structure interaction using the CFX and mechanical solvers connected by system coupling. In this video, part 1, we'll set up a fluid flow simulation that uses CFX and a transient simulation that uses mechanical. The case involves a closed fluid filled cavity with thin plate that oscillates due to a temporarily applied pressure. In this case, there is one coupling step per time step. Within each coupling step, there are iterations called coupling iterations at which system coupling transfers data between the fluid and structural solvers. Within each coupling iteration, conditions at the fluid solid interface are held constant while each solver iteratively updates its portion of the solution. To model the plate, we'll use a transient structural simulation that uses the mechanical solver. The simulation will receive force data from the fluid analysis at each coupling iteration. We'll name this system structural. To model the fluid in the cavity that surrounds the plate, we'll use a fluid flow simulation that uses the CFX solver. The simulation will receive displacement data from the structural analysis at each coupling iteration. We'll name this system fluid. In general, it's best to set up, solve, and simulate the physics independently before adding the complexity of a coupled analysis. For this case, we are going to skip the independent analyses and begin the setup for the coupled analysis. The co-simulation, or cooperative simulation, of the structural and fluid behavior is controlled by system coupling, which connects the two simulations through the setup cells. It will control their solution processes and transfer data between the two simulations at each coupling iteration. This connection allows for the systems to share one geometry file. The geometry is imported, and the structural and fluid systems are now set up. When we view the geometry for this case, we can see that both the structural and fluid geometries are modeled. Let's look at the structural system in mechanical and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis. Here, the fluid portion of the geometry is suppressed so that we are only working with the plate. A fluid solid interface is applied to the three surfaces of the plate that are in contact with the surrounding fluid. On this interface, mechanical receives force data from and sends displacement data to system coupling. The end time, which is 10 seconds for this case, is controlled by system coupling. Mechanical's step end time must be at or after system coupling's end time. Mechanical's auto time stepping feature should normally be left off for a system coupling analysis since the time step size must be constant throughout the simulation. In mechanical, a number of substeps can be carried out within each coupling iteration. However, in this case, substepping is not necessary, so I'll set this value to 1. The mechanical setup is complete. Let's look at the fluid simulation settings in CFX and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis. The structural geometry was suppressed during meshing so that we are only working with the fluid in the closed cavity. Mesh deformation is enabled in the fluid domain so that the fluid's mesh can move in response to the plate's displacement. For the fluid walls that are coincident with the plate, the mesh motion option is set to system coupling. This option specifies that CFX will receive displacement data from and send force data to system coupling. The total time and time step size are set to temporary values. System coupling settings will override these values. In a coupled analysis, max coefficient loops is the maximum number of times that CFX can iterate within each coupling iteration. The CFX setup is complete. This concludes part 1 of this video series. In part 2, we'll set up system coupling and solve the coupled analysis.